Good day and thank you for watching. I'm Ryan and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to feature monetary signs in Nemeth Braille code. If you are new to my channel, kindly or please consider subscribing. So without further delay, let's get started. In Nemeth Braille code, monetary signs generally take up two Braille cells. Now for our first sign, I have here the Philippine Peso sign. Peso is the currency in the Philippines. Now in print, the Philippine Peso sign appears like the capital letter P with two horizontal bars across the upper part of the letter. Now in Nemeth, the first cell contains dot 4 and the second cell contains letter P. Or that's dot 4 on first cell and dots 1, 2, 3, 4 on the second cell. Next is the dollar sign, which appears as a capital letter S in print. Now in Nemeth, the dollar sign also takes two cells. The first cell has dot 4 and the second cell has letter S. Lastly, I have here the cent sign. In print, this appears like a, uh, a lowercase letter C. And in Nemeth, it also takes, or this sign also takes two cells. The first cell having dot four, and the second cell has letter C. Now let's proceed to the rules in writing these monetary signs. First is that uh, monetary signs or currency symbols should be written as they appear in print. Now this means that peso and dollar signs should appear to the left of the number and the cent sign should appear to the right of the number and that there should be no space between these signs and numbers and also other math, math symbols. Now to understand this, let's have some examples. So here we have 37 pesos. In Nemeth Braille, we write on the first cell dot 4, second cell letter P, and we and there should be no space and we write digits 3 and 7 after letter P. Next is we have $28. So in Nemeth Braille code, we write dot 4 on the first cell, letter S, digits 2 and 8 on the next cells. And finally, we have 50 cents. So here, the cent sign should be written after the, the digits or after the number. So we write a number sign or the numeric indicator uh, that's 3, 4, 5, and 6 and then we write digits 5 and 0 and then dot 4 then letter C. So take note uh, the application of the rules that I just mentioned earlier. So they should the, the monetary signs should appear as they are written in print so dollar and peso sign should be at the left of the numbers and the cent sign or the centavo sign should appear at the right of the numbers and there should be no space between these signs and the numbers now moving on to our next rule it says here there should a uh, numeric indicator should not be used for peso and dollar signs since these two signs are full braille cell tall so uh, that full braille cell tall uh, is a character of these uh, two monetary signs. Since we have, uh, since for both dollar and peso sign, both have dots on the upper, middle, and lower uh, parts of the braille cell. Now we have here examples to illustrate this rule. So we have uh, 1,000 pesos in print it's written with 0 0.00 at the end of this uh, number so in Nemeth Braille code we write the, the peso sign that's that four and letter P and then the digits one zero 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 for 1000 then we have the decimal point that's four and six and we have two zeros right after so here we don't need to write the numeric indicator since peso sign is a full braille cell tall uh, sign. Next we have $970. So in 
in uh, Nemeth that should be written as dot four for the first cell, letter S, second cell, and on the third to fifth cell we write the digits nine, seven, and zero. And finally we have two thousand five hundred pesos. So in print uh, or in Nemeth that should be written uh, as dot four in the first cell, letter P on the second cell, and the digits two five zero zero on the succeeding cells. For our last set of rules, it says here that there should be no space between these monetary signs that we featured and uh, signs of operation. Now, signs of operation include the plus, minus, multiplication, and division signs. However, if the peso, dollar, and cent signs uh, are used with signs of comparison such as greater, less than, and the equal signs, then these this, uh, symbols or these signs should be spaced as discussed in our previous videos. Since the rules of or in using signs of comparison should apply in this uh, situation. Now let's take some examples. First we have here 14 pesos plus 27 pesos. So if we write that in Nemeth Braille code, we write that 4 in letter P, then numbers 1 and 4 for 14. Then we write the plus sign without a space. And then we write the peso sign again for the next uh, number, which is 27 pesos, without a space. So that's peso sign, that 4, and that, or letter P, and then numbers 2 and 7. So note here, since uh, the peso is interacting with an operate or a sign of operation, the plus sign, there should be no space between the plus and the peso sign. Next example, we have here $50 minus $29. So in Nemeth Braille code, we write the dollar sign, which uh, has two cells, dot four on the first and letter S on the second cell. Then we write the digits five and zero, then the minus sign. So there should be, again, no space uh, after the zero. So the minus sign has, uh, or uh, minus sign, that's three and six. And then we write the dollar sign again dot 4 and letter S and the digits 2 and 9 for 29. So there should be no space between the minus sign and the dollar sign. Now for our last example, we have here 1 peso is greater than 80 cents. So in Nemeth, we write this down. Uh, first, we write the peso sign, dot 4 on the first cell and the letter P on the second cell and then we write number 1 or that two. Then we need to put a space since this is a sign of comparison. The greater than is one of the three signs of comparison that we have already learned. So uh, there's, there, there has to be a space after the after number one. So space, then that's for six and that two for greater than. Then space again, and then we write 80 cents with a numeric indicator, numeric indicator, eight, zero, and then the cent sign. So that's that four in the first cell and letter C. With that, thank you and I hope you learned something from this video. Just a quick shout out to all of my subscribers, especially special education teachers. And until then, see you and God bless us all. Slide show, slide nine, please like.